to another FS19 gameplay video, uh, a mod gameplay video rather, T today, well, today we are taking a look at the Flegel Large Capacity Shovel Pack. Now this is what we can do kind of, I believe, the way we normally do things. I have set it up a little bit here, not exactly uh, even, you know, kind of, kind of even from that perspective, but more to that perspective. And I know I'm a little late in the day here, I do apologize for that. Hello there, thank you for joining. Give me one second, I was going to get to the, uh, the update that Mars currently testing, in which we'll go through those in a minute verbally. Um, so. Uh, here's what it comes with. I think it's just for front loaders, let's actually take a quick look. Let's do letters. Hello there, thank you for joining. Yeah, I think it's literally just front motors. Evening in British. Ah, uh, evening. Yes, evening it is. Hey, Ninja Realm. Um, oh, I didn't reply to your message this morning. Uh, you sent out like 4 a.m. my time. <laughs> 9, 10 a.m. time. Um, but, so I do apologize for that. I meant to, <laughs> I meant to reply. No one else would reply. So I Thing was about. But anyway, so the large capacity shovel of 1,250. Where's the shovel here? That has 940. So, okay. Alright, so we have 1,250 liter capacity. Uh, it's $1,899. Here is four pounds. This doesn't taste the point. That's a 1.6 liter width. Looks like it can hold. All uh, crops. Um, excuse me. The Flegel large capacity shells are great tools for loading light goods, wood chips, for example. I uh, this it's game. recommended to use a back weight. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, a little pun, too. I love it. Alright, so it looks like they're all going to take up about one. Slot, so they say we'll get into that in a minute. This is large capacity shovel of 1550 liters, which then cost you about 2250 uh, $2, dollars a pound. And then we have the large capacity shovel with uh, 1850 liter capacity, this will cost you 2500 dollars a pounds. or pounds. This has two meters, so this is 1.6 meter. 2 meter, 2.4, and 2.8 meter width, and this one uh, is 2,150 liters capacity for 2,750 dollars a year or pounds. Uh, and then we have, and these are the shovels. We'll get, we'll get on the customizations. I believe they're all the same pretty much. Um, but look at each one, all the same. Um, so we have the lizard. Yes, that's right, Blizzard, and it actually comes with this pack. Uh, they actually go together, as you will see. Uh, the Make 2.0 uh, for $550 years or pounds. 2 meter width. It's like a, a bro. With this machine, you can restore the initial ground state, delete fields. Um, that's pretty much what that does. Uh, Mostly, it actually moves the stuff around. Uh, this has 30 meter width, it's the same things, a little wider. Alright, so here you can actually change the color. So, once you get uh, past the galvanized, you lose that little texture, which is a, which is a bummer. I wish there was like a, a, a different option. Because I'd love like the galvanized, but like in you know, whatever color we want, I think that's great. But uh, hey, we can customize it any color that we wish. So, if we want to have like John Deere. You know, or if you're working with uh, KSIH, there it is right there. Talk to you again, or if you're working with New Holland, well, there it is. New Holland, or really any other thing. If you want if you want a pink farm, you can have pink farm purple. Do that. If you want uh, navy. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much all the same. Alright, now this actually changes the bottom color.
So, alright. So now they say they take up one slot. Takes up three. So they take up three, so it's not too big of a difference. Usually it has a really large difference. So we are going to, um... A back weight is recommended. This is nice and uh, Thank you. Alright. Well, they're all shovels, they're all going to do the same thing. However, let's go ahead and let's take a look. At that, see that goes right up there. The clamps on right there. Actually in the bucket, which is not really what I was trying to do. Because also you cannot use this. Can you? So you can actually delete. So if you have too much crop. Or if you have one or whatever, you can actually delete. Thing. So let's go ahead and yeah, 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 boom, delete, delete, delete. That's actually really fun. I uh, might actually just get this on my other farm and just so I don't think we'll do it paint yeah there's a painted ground right here that I did so you can see all the crops Look at that, that's deleting the field. So Yeah, I really think they just now go and don't delete every field. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much what that is. Doesn't delete painted. And then, uh, there's actually one thing I do want to test with it. Um, I believe they're all interchangeable. They should all be interchangeable. I'm going to actually gonna test that out. Not buildings down. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. That would be pretty cool, but I don't, I don't think that would work. So it should be just like this one. And no, not knocking buildings down. Knocking the buildings down is not what we're gonna test. But instead, there's some lime. We're just gonna go. So honestly, I can't wait till um, till the season back comes out because I really want to know if this will like get rid of snow. Actually, I do wonder if this snow is just flat out like this up like this. No, 
That's not that. Okay. Um, so I think it would be cool if they actually hooked that up as just the thing, or if they had an attachment for the front motor where it wasn't the bucket. Um, and instead it was just the, uh... So... Alright, so we're gonna do one more little test real quick. And then we're going to uh, our name we'll run down the, uh, the mice that are actually um, in testing right now. Alright, let me see here. Uh, if you raise, I don't think it would delete what we just did. Yeah, so it does not delete what you just did. So, there are those. Uh, so, the mods in testing, I would, okay, first off, uh, I'm going to get to, uh, you know, there, there, had, there was an update on the Welkers mod, uh, we'll actually get to that last, but I was telling you that now, so if you do want to know uh, what the update is on the Welkers, go ahead and just stick around for just a few minutes longer. So on the PC side, we have the, uh, and don't forget this, you know, currently in testing, the Q18 is currently testing the following lives, PC. And I just refreshed this today, so, or tonight, whatever, so it's all, you know, up to fresh as long as, you know, the latest post. Uh, PC, Agri Bumper, Barn of Silos, Dead Chunk Pet, Fent 1290s XD, IMT 5360, Manor House, Marshall ST1800, Windmill, PS4 and Xbox One, Base Transceiver Station, BTS, I mean, Base Transceiver Station, BTS, I don't really know why there's a creation, but whatever. Uh, I, I really want to see what that's going to be like, that's interesting. Uh, Cow Shed, EB7-70 Pack. Mmm, that's pack, awesome. Uh, Flegal Large Capacity Shovels. When I get it. FS-19 Doll Ranch. Uh, Doll's D-A-H-L. Uh, yes I will. If I have the time, I definitely will. Um... Hooner Stall? That's H-U-E-H-N-E-R-S-T-A-L-L. Karcher? Wash House, Cun Access 402 Plus Pack, Cun GA8521, Vinerland Exacta EL Pack, Multi Filling Station, that's probably an um, update, Multi Grabber, Raul Unimat 660, Steroids, uh, Teravitis. CFS 5201 DO, uh, the Pacific Northwest 19 and X modding bag lifter. Now, number of mods waiting to be tested is 56. Current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is 6 weekdays. Um, so, those are the mods that are currently in testing. Now, um, as of days ago, so it is. Well, that's one nice, the other one, like three days ago, but somehow my phone just ordered me of it a few hours ago. And Ben from Mapper's Paradise uh, said that in the update, we have had a fail in testing at the mod hub, but we are working on the fixes right now. We are aiming at re uploading within the next 24 hours. So, uh, they have already put it through the mod hub. They had some fails. They're working on, you know, making it so it doesn't fail. And, yeah. So, they hope to have it uploaded. So, hopefully, within the next few weeks, we will be playing um, on Welkers, which you know I'll be streaming a lot of that. Probably do some videos as well. 
Um, I know I haven't been uploading a lot. I have to announce the uh, the winners. I will be doing that um, either tonight or tomorrow. I hope the uh, live stream is some clue too um, in just a little bit. So there you have it. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. Leave a like, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ZachRider747. And as always, we will catch you later. Thank you all so much for watching.